Mr. Miracle number no. nine, Tom King, Mitch Gerrards, as I learned this week from his, yeah. his interview. That's how you say it. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a hard G. Hard G. Uh, yeah. So this is issue nine of Mr. Miracle. This is the negotiation issue. The, the, the war's coming to an end. We're, we're at the table. Oh. Calabax at the other end, uh, negotiating for Apocalypse and Darkseid. And uh, Mr. Miracle, Barda, and Light Ray. Uh, in fact, one of my funniest moments is when Light Ray is not happy that they're negotiating at all. It yeah. just goes, oh, you piece of shit. You murdered my friend. I'm going to kill you, Calabac, yeah. and everything you've done. And yeah. he just mouths off. And then there's like an awkward pause. And again, this is the thing that's so good about this comic, is the pacing. The pacing between awkward moments like this, mm-hmm. where it's just awkward silence. And then, then Bard's like, oh, shut the F up, Light Ray. <laughs> yeah. So good. She's had yeah. enough of him. Like, it's... And it, that, it, yeah, go ahead, so that, that's where the nine panel grid really comes into its own, isn't mm-hmm. it? The pacing. It's yeah. just because it's so meticulous that it never ha- it never falters. It's always for, exactly the same pace. For for a book about the fourth world and new gods and a man that can escape death, it it's so really gets, structured, isn't it? Well, there's that and it gets into the mundane. Like this is all about essentially a peace summit. Something yep. that I'm sure uh Former CIA operative Tom King knows a lot about, you know, mm. so and it, and it just felt like so real world them going over the paperwork and disagreeing about certain dates and certain forms. And but these are all superheroes. I do hope are... I do hope in real life, though, when the CIA is doing some sort of peace treaty thing, they have all the rookies go under the table and hold it up. God, That's how you earn your stripes. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. such an apocalypse thing you know hey that's not to mention then, l- later on calabac when he flips the table he actually throws the table into a guy's head one of the guys gets his head squished by the he table he throws his chair which was this man against the table so essentially it would be him throwing a chair against the table and it and leads to one of the, the at least one of the best moments of of mr miracle going hey stop it don't bother <laughs> yeah. i grew up here i know this shit they ain't gonna work yeah. on me uh-uh yeah, you know, crazy, crazy. And a big part of the book is him being escorted to this giant pit so he can go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And we actually yeah. get like a, you know, as the guy's telling this story. Oh. I mean, do, do we know who this character is? I didn't recognize him. Yeah, I was going to ask. Uh, I'm going to have to look this up now. Hey, go on, you go look him up. Uh, the dude who's yeah. telling the story go about um, Da Vinci. Uh, but we get this like, this story being told as the spit uh, from the top is like going down all, like it's over two pages, the spit just going down the, the giant well, the giant pit before it hits this prisoner at the bottom. Um, and it's just that, like that's, this idea that, you know, the, the book's about, you know, anxiety and depression and that it's this never ending pit and there's, there's so much stuff you can glean from all these like, these little touches. Um, it's, 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 it's good stuff. And again, so that guy is, is Canto. There you go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to, I'm going to click on it. <laughs> Probably should have done that. So I only saw you half of his, well, I only had half of his character, but it looked like the right clothing mm. that, that came up. So. But yeah, so even just the, the, it switches to the coloring with uh, Barda and Miracle, you know, when he's got his mask off and they're, they're, you know, they're showing the, the bone wine and they're, they're reminiscing and, oh. and kind of joking. And even later on when they're in the fire pits, there's the fire lake, and they're, they're, yeah. she's going for a swim, it's like it becomes this really warm light as opposed to like the, the really almost dreary grey of the of the, the negotiation room. It is, yeah. If you look back to the, the pit, it starts at the grey and it kind of gets into the greens and the, really, the dank green at the bottom as it goes through the panels. It's and this really gr- gradual shit. And green is kind of, you know, that's one of the big Mr. Miracle colours. That's his cape. That's like... Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like the the cape is like represent you know all the color green is representing you know he used to be like this he used to be in prison like this not exactly at the bottom of a pit but uh, but no uh, and I love that it's after Calabac gets angry that's when the video effect comes in for the first time I think in the issue yeah, um, yeah and it's not so much the angry it's his response it's it's you know Scott's response that he has to delve into that into his history of being a part you know it's it's a really sobering not... moment for him isn't it yeah. it's that mm-hmm. that there and he snaps into okay no i've got to take this a, a harder route i've got to be i've got to be cold i've got to lean into that side yep. of me yeah uh, it's after he does that that we get the the only dark side is at the end of that page it's the only one of the yeah. whole the whole book um so now it's... It, this this book is ending on 
just a full page spread of just just dark side is right <laughs> very possible yeah. it's very possible uh, that's outlined yeah just and then Calabac just he looks like such a he looks like a troll like from from mythology yeah and whatnot like he just I love the way that that he takes up entire frames I you love know? the uh, the glasses he's wearing at the start when he's sort of reading and he's sort of looking over them as he's like going over the the terms. I I could hear him exhale when he put the even though it's not mentioned, just him putting the glasses on and going, mm. you know, yeah. like yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's got that librarian looking over the glasses yeah. kind of uh-huh. look a couple of times. It's really good stuff. Um, and you know, the thing they've done it, and they're kind of, you know, Scott's kind of upset because they've kind of like given up too much to win this, or, or not even win, but just like negotiate peace. You know, and, and uh, Calabac gives them the, the, the mirror of, uh, what was it, the mirror of goodness, goodness. Uh, from, from yeah. Granny. Uh, it's like she won't need this anymore because you killed her, <laughs> which yeah. made me laugh. Um, yeah. And, you know, again, it's this idea of like looking and seeing who he really is, and he actually looks into it naked. In fact, one of my favourite pages might be after that, when you see in the reflection the, the tortured like version of him that's just he like, just starts yeah. crying yeah and in Barda equally tortured and that's why they're perfect for each other because they they both yeah. have this history they both yeah. see each other for who they are and they they, they, they understand mm-hmm. each other uh, it was a really it's, it's like really dark and gritty but really sweet at the same time yeah. right you know it's, it's it's finding the beauty and the grotesque which is kind of what their right. relationship is because they're yeah. in this awful place and they somehow found each other so you know yeah so beautiful uh. But yeah, so that but the issue is with Calabac comes back and he's like, yeah, everything we agreed to, it's all, all thrown out. Uh, Dark mm-hmm. says turned it, turned it all down, and they're like, but wait, you 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 were speaking for him. He's like, no, no, he wasn't happy with it because he wants to offer you more. And they're like, wait, what? He will give you the anti-life equation. He will give you this. They'll they'll pull all the troops back. Everything like is on your side. You get everything. Mm-hmm. The only term, the only the only thing from us. Is that Darkseid wants your son, his only grandchild, to be raised in Apocalypse. And to be um, the true heir of Darkseid. As the true heir of Darkseid. And, and you that, just you know, go, oh shit. And that's when the video static really comes into play and it goes uh-huh. completely, you know, distorted as shit for the last couple of pages. And they're all just like, what? And that's when you see Darkseid, like, you know, the dark, you know, outline of just the, the, the face of Darkseid. Yeah. You, you know, you don't need the dark side is, you just have his face. Yeah, that's what I like about it, because it's like, he's not an idea anymore, it's like, he's more actually directly interfering now. He's directly... And you see... Yeah. Yeah, well, his last panel is he's smiling. Yeah. His, like, his dark yeah, side he, is coming, essentially. Uh, yeah, and then you just end on him going, what? What? Uh, what, what just happened? Yeah, he looks... That's the, the, the terrified. Um, so you, you there's no see, way... You know, you guys... and Light Ray flying off the handle, like, Yep. You know, she she's shocked at first as well in the first part yeah. of the top right, but then she reacts and you you can see light ray down in the bottom left as well. They're they're getting up, they're ready to to fight. So, like no, of course not. And I think it's this like, fear of, still of Scott's that he'll have to give up his child, like he was giving up. Like he, you know, he would yeah. never do that. He would never want to do that. So the idea that he's going to be forced into it, I think, is yeah. this this bombshell of emotion. So so, the anti life equation is such an abstract concept mm. to me because it's a dark dark side has it. Right, and he could end everything if he so chooses. So, but there's there's no way Scott's giving up his kid. So, like, how but, does but that's Zen the thing? Have... Like, he he's gonna have to consider it. You know, that'll be yeah. that'll be you know the the whole idea. Of, okay, he was traded between you know from High Father right. as part of a truce. It was for the greater good, and and he's like, okay, right. now he's like, should I make that same choice? He knows what it did to him as a person. Exactly. But, but even though he's broken as a person, was it good for the you know the the universe as a whole? And and now he has to make that choice for himself. Well, it's one life for many, right? But yeah, you know. But yeah, so I'm I'm curious to see where it goes. Just because if Darkseid has an anti-life equation, that's it. Though, like that's all I know about the new gods. Yeah, I mean, I feel like like it, it could be a case of like we he's, he sort of agrees to it. They're going to go through with it. And then, like, you know, like the next issue ends with, like, you know what, no, F this. We're not doing this. Like, and then the, the choice is to, yeah. like, do it differently feel, and fight back. I feel this book ends with a showdown between him and, and Darkseid. Like, like they're in the same room and he... It's almost like family therapy. Mm. Mm. Kind of. You know what I mean? Because, again, they do the mundane. It's not going to be this big knockout, drag out fight. Yeah, it's not going to be a fight. That's not what yeah. this book is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if I was to make some, 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 like one guess of how it might end, like... 
it could be, you know, actually with Darkseid, Scott actually saying to Darkseid, you don't scare me anymore. Like, if it wants to make, like, a positive yeah. point about him getting through his depression and him getting through his yeah. anxiety, like, you know, you... I'm not scared of you anymore. I you, I don't yeah. worry about you. And, you I, know, know. I, I feel I feel like that's almost too positive an ending for the book. I it feel may like be. Well, no. to, I feel like the, the point of the book is that it's an ongoing struggle. There can't be a neat. Oh, I'm over. Well, this and that's it. And you have to learn to live with it. As someone that goes through anxiety, like yeah, it's that's not bad. That, that's kind of what know? I'm saying is that he, he learns to live yeah. with it. Like you know, that, that's and your positive ending. Like you're you're always gonna be there, but I am always going to find a way to overcome. And that's just the constant struggle. Right? Like, Sometimes I'll lose. Like maybe the moment but, could be, you know, Scott will actually say dark side is, but I don't care or something like that. I don't know. Right. You know, exactly. some, some sort of defiant kind of like, you know, what, whatever, because it's there. I accept it. But that, his, his breakdown, you know, after he loses it because of Calabac, where he's like, my teeth, you know, they won't stop chattering. But if I, if I breathe, but I, I can't breathe, so they're not going to stop chattering. That was so real to me. Like, I couldn't... That hit hard. Like, I had to stop reading for a second and just take it all in. So, it was... Uh, so this book is always super effective. It is. Like, oh, as I guess it's emotion yeah. across so well and its ideas. Uh, you know, so obviously this is issue name. We've got three left. We're, we're kind of, you know, speculating as to how yeah. it could possibly end. The, the next one got delayed a little bit because, damn yeah. it, Mitch, stop being a parent yeah. and start drawing. Uh, Gerard's, as per usual, now that I'm saying his name right, uh, with with the the expressions, the pacing, um, the violence, which was really good, uh, yeah. all of it great. That, that story Canto tells too about. I thought that was really cool about uh, an apprentice and a master artist. They're arguing over who, who's the better artist, and so the they decide to have a contest. And the apprentice had painted just like six grapes, and they're perfect yeah and that's it, it. And it's worth mentioning Simple. it's a year later this took a year to paint these oh okay it's a year yeah it that's pulls right. the curtain it's six scrapes it's just six scrapes but they're so realistic like there's a, there's a dog that comes up and tries birds. to take the birds try to take birds the grapes come and try to eat them and then the apprentice swells of pride and is like oh see so like have a good time trying to beat that and then the master doesn't have an art because the whole point of that story was no you are i pass what i learn to you because that's my job and i feel like that's no, he did, he the moral of the we're talking about that he did have a, a no, pain he, he didn't no he didn't because he said you know what curtain that's the what point curtain? he says yeah, you know, okay what's mask. behind your curtain you know he says to him what's behind your curtain and he says he goes, what curtain and the whole point of that is his whole job his work of art was the apprentice yeah the, he he's his mission was accomplished. So there's this whole thing about lineage is that all right. I misread that. Yeah, at the end, it's yeah. just, you know, he's one. He knows he's one, and he turns to the master, uh, points at the master's painting, and he says, "All right, not that there's a need, but let's see what's behind your curtain." And the master says, "What curtain?" See, I read that as he painted a really realistic curtain. <laughs> I mean. Oh, because he, it, it be. because he refers to it as there, he sees a curtain and says, you know, it says what curtain? I thought that was him being what curtain because it's so good. Everyone thought there was a curtain. Uh, it could be, yeah. I I, I, I was I with Matt and took it, it as, as to he just there was yeah. a, a thing there with a curtain over it, but he's like, no, no, no I don't need it because no, no. It, I I took it as he was I all pompous because his his grapes looked that good. Is like, oh pull pull the curtain away? And he's like, what curtain? So his filled the birds, but his curtain filled the humans. That's- but what made him a master? It goes in. There's always this thing. Pete, you can tune out for a half second because it's Star Wars. Oh, God. But that, that's how you you attain Jedi Master from Jedi Knight by training a Padawan. Like the fact See, that you passed on all your knowledge to an apprentice means that you've attained a new yeah, level. Of and I, I thought that was the point. He, he really ties in with the whole father and son but, dynamic of the book. Exactly. No, no, you may be right, but I, I read it as he painted a really good curtain and no one knew that it was it, well, that was no, the no, painting the itself. Is, now you've said that, I can see that, you know, I can read Let's, it that way and understand it. Right, so I'm, I'm not just being an idiot then and just misreading this. No, no, no. All right, good. But right. no, I mean, I can get where you're saying from. I think that's the easiest way. You know, like oh yeah, that, that, that was some salt on that, Matt. <laughs> yes, I'm that's just, the easiest way. The way I'm you read like, it, I just with like what he has. The king has Scott say to Calabac, he's like, "Yeah, I'm from New Genesis, but I'm still preferred over you. Like, you're the second son, and it's almost as if Darkseid has spent all this time 
shaping Scott to be an actual ruler. You know, that was that's his piece of art. Out of interest, in your interpretation, what's the point of the story? Because we're obviously taking it as the, the father-son dynamic, the, you know, passing on and becoming well, better. He, I, I think Pete is, the, the, his art's so realistic. He's like, yeah, those are really cool-looking grapes. Birds are trying to eat them, but people actually thought there was a curtain right here. No, right? I get that, but what, what's the, the, the point? Yeah, he's asking what the point, the point thematically is with, yeah. the, with, with the story. And I guess I'm, I'm take, my, my interpretation of it went the opposite way. Because it was like, no matter how hard you try, you will never be better than me. Okay. Which I think ties uh, into Scott's anxiety and Scott's like, you know, doubts. Because that, that's what the, 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 the series is about, doubt. No, it, it is. But I feel like that's we're coming from a character who's trying to comfort him, essentially. Yeah. Canto. That seems like it's a Canto, weird message to give him. Yeah, because Canto feels like very familiar. Like, this is his favorite uncle. You know, like Canto. Oh, I mean, I'm not fighting on on your interpretation. I just never thought of no, it no, before no. now. Yeah, yeah. No. but that that's where I'm coming from. Is like it's a comforting thing. Like he's telling him because he's like, yeah, I made up that story. It felt like it was something you needed to hear. So, yeah. you know, no, no, I mean, I'm, I'm curious. I, I I think it works kind of either way, but I'm curious to see what people read it as. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Because when Matt was saying that, I thought he misread it at first. He was like, what are you talking about? There was art. There was a curtain. It, it is was... I did read it the way Matt did, but you know, looking at it, I can see you know, why you've got to that from the dialogue as well. I thought that, I thought that was the joke. It was you know, like, oh no, there, there is no curtain. That That is the art. It's just that good. Yeah, yeah it could be. Um, I actually don't know who's right anymore. <laughs> yes! I put oh, doubt. The doubt is there. <laughs> there is no spin. There is no curtain. Yes, I agree. Well, it's the illusion. It's the art. It's the art of being whatever. Let's write the book. <laughs> so no, I'm curious. I'm curious to uh, how how people read that. Uh, am I alone? Am I the only one who thought this, or is is this a is this actually more of a fifty fifty split? Uh, or just me and Matt weird? Or just you two weird? Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. always possible. Um, although no, thematically, I see why yours works. But I don't yeah. get it from the dialogue, if that makes sense. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Maybe. I'm going to hit up King on, uh, <laughs> on Twitter. So, so that story that was told, uh, we're debating the, the like, ending hey. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, Help Matt, what are you rating? What are you rating it? Oh, this is a 9.5. This is oh, art. right up there. Yeah. It was, I like I like how mundane it was. Like, that's weird for me to say, because usually I, like, Comics where people sit around and talk. I'm not usually a big fan of, but oh, I like yeah. the dynamics. There's an there's an art to doing good mundanity where, it, where it's effective. Yeah. Uh, Connor, what are you rating that? That's uh, a nine. Yeah, I'm also going nine. I, I think it's a fantastic issue. I only it's the best in the, the series so far. Uh, I think there's been a few others that have went the extra mail, but mm. fantastic. <laughs>